If you're going through the airport, you'll see a travel advisory for Ebola in West Africa, and there may be another you're not quite as familiar with, and that's for the Caribbean, for mosquito-borne diseases like dengue fever and chikungunya. Now, dengue in particular has been on the rise in southern states in recent years. Florida saw some of its first outbreaks in decades in 2009 and 2010. Now, dengue usually isn't fatal, but it can be so incredibly painful, it's been nicknamed breakbone fever, and there aren't any treatments on the market for it. Uh, so, in, here in Key West, it's the southernmost point in the United States. They're really on the front lines of trying to control it. And mosquito control experts here say they're doing everything they can to keep dengue at bay. Dengue is a kind of a sleeper disease. It, come, it, it can exist in low levels without us knowing it and then flare up. Now, one method they're working on has never been tried before here in the United States. They're working with British biotech company Oxitech to potentially release genetically modified mosquitoes programmed to wipe out their own race. Now, Oxitech is awaiting FDA approval to start a small trial here in a small area of the Keys. What we've seen in all the trials we've done to date is we've actually brought down the population of this mosquito in the areas where we've released by over 90 percent. Now, there. There has been some local pushback over the plan here, mostly over the genetic modification. But Keys experts and Oxitech say the method is safe and specifically targets this kind of mosquitoes. Now, meanwhile, big pharma companies are working on the problem. Both Sanofi and Merck are working on developing dengue vaccines, important as cases around the world have increased 30-fold in the last 50 years.